Hey guys, Aoife Wilson here for Eurogamer. Now, I recently had five hours of hands-on time with Dragon Age Inquisition on PS4, and that might sound like a long time, but really it only allowed me to just barely scratch the surface of what the game will offer, and I didn't even get to flirt with a single party member. I had a brief look at how the war table will work, and how you'll be able to travel to different regions in the game's sort of open world, but the thing I really saw most of is Inquisition's revamped combat system. Personally, I think combat has always been an issue in previous Bioware games. Dragon Age Origins' tactical approach was too slow, and in Dragon Age 2 it was just a bit too crazy and all over the place. Dragon Age Inquisition, however, seems like a refinement on both those approaches. Come at it like a hack and slash and just focus on using your Inquisitor if you like. The AI party are pretty good at looking after themselves. Or you can switch between characters on the fly with the D-pad if you want to mix things up and try out the different classes. Then there's also the option to pause the action and use a top-down tactical camera to plan your moves, issue instructions to your party, ensure enemies are dealt with simultaneously and efficiently, and then fast forward time to watch the scene play out. I'm usually more of a fan of just sticking to stabbing and hoping for the best, but Inquisition is definitely geared more towards tactical thinking than just all-out button bashing. Not only that, it's just more interesting to jump around and try out the different combat roles. Each character class has a much more defined part to play between warriors, mages and rogues. You have your main attack button on the right trigger that you can just hold down to wail on whatever enemy is closest to you, and then you cycle through your special attacks, which expand stamina or mana and operate on a cooldown system. You'll also need to keep a close eye on potions. They work a bit like Estus flasks in Dark Souls in that there are a finite amount to share between your party members, and you replenish your supply at any of the camps you set up throughout a region. I didn't get an opportunity to properly fight anything dragon-sized during my hands-on, but there were several instances where my party were up against demonic mini-bosses, which came through one of the many rifts that your character is capable of closing. This adds an element of strategy to those battles too, as your Inquisitor needs to be out of action for a few seconds in order to interact with the rift, meaning you'll have to set up the other characters to cover him or her. Since my hands-on time was at the very beginning of a game, I only unlocked each character's most basic moves, and perhaps that's why I find myself getting a little bit bored with trading blows after a while. There are a lot of options available that let you mix things up and make combat more interesting, but the basic experience still feels a little bit too functional. There are no wow moments, nothing that made me feel like a badass, but then again, it's early days, and being able to plan and effectively win a battle before it's even begun is satisfying. So. Bring on the dragons.